two really interesting matchups. To start, we have Spain. Spain playing beautiful football right now, going up against France. France, who just defeated Portugal in penalties, and Spain, who ultimately defeated Germany. Folks, who's your winner? Who is your winner between Spain and France? I'm going to do the poll. In the meantime, could you preview this matchup for me? Who do you have winning? Spain and France, man. I'm just worried about France pulling off another crazy, just lackluster performance, but getting the upset. Because that's how France have gotten to the semifinal. Their defense is elite. The question is, can the best offense in the tournament beat the best defense? That's what the question is because mm. I'm not scared of France's offense. I'm not. Their performance against Portugal was just as bad as it's been all tournament. They're not going to fix it against Spain. There's no way. But what they are going to do is keep the game very tight, even though Spain is flying very high right now. And I'm just worried that this is going to end nil-nil or somehow it's 1-1. One, one, yes, and they go to penalties yes, and France get to a final because I think that is very, very possible. The 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 favorite, the easy pick, the logical pick here has to be Spain. Has, to, has be. to be Spain. Has and to be. I will 100% admit that. Spain is playing the most purest, truest, best version of football that should be played right now at the international level. They're playing incredible. And that goes for the Euros and Copa America. Spain is the best international team when they're on it. But football... Football is very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Football has very interesting takes, and they'll do anything to these teams. They could crumble them. And I think there's a really interesting situation here presenting itself where I picked France to go to the final and to win this uh, tournament before the tournament even started. I did not anticipate Spain being this good and playing this good of football and being so likable as well. So now we have an issue that even my girlfriend brings up. Do I stick to my stubbornness or do I see the truth? Right? Spain to me represents the truth. France is me being stubborn, my friend. It's me being stubborn. I don't know. Because if you're looking at both teams, I think Spain is the one that you should pick. You should. But I am a man and I have my flaws. <laughs> I have my flaws, my friend. <laughs> and I think I'm going to remain stubborn because I want to see my pick come to fruition. And it's because exactly what you said yeah. that defense is so reliable with Saliba being the best defender yeah, yeah. in this tournament. It is so reliable. And that offense has to give at some point. It has to. At some point, Mbappe has to do something. Dembele has to do something. Mm. Turam, Colomboani, they have to do something. At some point, or it will be their, their demise. Right. So I'm sticking to France. I'm going to be stubborn on this one. I'm going to France on this one. But I understand if you're going Spain. I completely do because the chat has Spain at 75%. 75% France at 25. Yeah, I, I think we described the situation perfectly <sighs> yeah. there because it's this is such a weird situation to be in. Spain is playing the better football, but France's quality has proven to be enough and it will prove to be enough against Spain too. I'm going Spain. Going I'll be Spain? cheering for Spain. Yeah. But like I said, I will not be surprised if France find themselves in another final. I love what the hitman says here. The purest football doesn't win tournaments results win tournaments yep 100 percent. yeah 100 he predicts an england versus france final you heard it here folks and then fifa rig says you guys are ready for a england versus france final damn dude yawn emoji just God just damn. just completely disregarding spain and netherlands fine fine let's see it then because we got netherlands going up against england in the semi-final guys let me know who do you have winning this matchup because england is here they're actually here. They found a way to make it this deep into the tournament despite dramatic results, despite all the drama around Southgate. England is here and they have a chance at making yet another Euros final. Whereas the Netherlands has been such a surprising team. They've been so impressive yeah. and they just pulled up an incredible comeback victory against Turkey. I think this one's really interesting. You already mentioned it though. You said you spoiled it a little earlier. Yeah. You're going to stick to that English... Uh, English quality, getting them over the getting them over the line. Yeah, exactly. And you know what's funny is before the Euros, I had England getting to the final. That's true. <laughs> and yeah. I'm in the same situation as you. What's funny is I I just don't want them to be in the final. the The way they're playing football, I'd be disgusted that I'd get this prediction right because I did not want it to happen this way. But here's the thing: the Netherlands have been, you know, a little bit exposed at the back against a lot of teams this tournament. England have proven to score in every single game. So England's going to score against the Netherlands and England's defense is really good. Max, they concede one goal, even though the Netherlands are playing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's either England win this game 1-0, 2-1, or it goes to penalties once again. 
I'm giving the edge to England, but this is so similar god. to France, Spain. This is so similar. Oh god, this is close. This one's really close for me, man. Because the, the individual quality is going to be crazy in this game. There's oh, so many, fun. so many big names on the pitch all at once. God, man, I'm actually kind of stuck on who I want to go with here. <sighs> I'd love to see the Netherlands, by the way. I'd love to see them make a final. That would be crazy to see. But I think England are just going to use their individual quality and pull it off. It's really interesting. Both teams are really similar with history when you look at it. I mean, England has a World Cup from the 60s, but beyond that, Netherlands has lost three World Cups yeah. uh, finals, and they are also been chasing a major trophy for a really long time, just like England. I think they're very similar in that aspect. Yes, yes. So this is a very uh, uh, iconic, big moment type of game for both of these nations. I just wonder whose time is it, man? Is it the Dutch? Is it time for the Dutch to show mm. up? And the atmospheres I'm seeing are incredible so far from these Dutch fans. I yeah. mean, there's a magic to them. And England, for as much as they get criticized, like they're still pulling out these results, man. Mm -hmm. They're pulling them out. It's so tight that the chat has Netherlands at 51%, oh England God. at 49, yeah. man. Yeah. It's that close. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go with the chat on this one because I'm so in the middle. I want chat to decide my take. I'm going Netherlands. I'm going Netherlands versus France final. Give me Netherlands versus France final. Netherlands winning this game. It's crazy, bro. They're capable of it. This is the Netherlands' golden opportunity to go deep into this tournament and go to a final. We haven't seen them in a final since that FIFA World Cup final in 2010, yeah, man. So yeah. it'd be so nice to do. I want to go Netherlands on this one. But, man, at this point, this is a coin flip. This is a coin flip between two really good teams at the end of the day, man. Yeah. Who's your winner then? We got four teams left. Who is going to be your winner from this point forward? Who do you have winning the tournament? I'm sticking to France, although, you know, my heart wants to go with Spain. Yeah, I mean... I'm going with Spain just because I do think they deserve it. They're playing such beautiful football, and it should be enough to beat any team here. But once you get to the stage, bro, anything's possible. Anything. Literally anything's yeah, possible. Yeah. But I'll, I'll go Spain. I'll go Spain. Yeah, Spain. I said uh, we said the winner of Spain Germany would go on to win it. So I'm gonna stick to that. Josh Uchizono says a France versus England final makes me want to puke. Do you know that's crazy, bro? Thinking about the path that both these teams went on, it has to be one of the finals that I've least looked forward to. If those two teams end up being oh in it, God. given the context of how they played, bro. Dude, even honestly, Incredible. even if one of them make it, I would just be really upset <sighs> because they've played such boring offensive football. But if we get both of them in there, <laughs> oh, oh my bro. God, oh, dude. <laughs> That'd be torture. <laughs> It'd be torture. But uh, and we'll get into it later too, but it would be a sign of the times. Yeah. It would make yeah. sense. Yeah. Makes FIFA sense. rigged says France needs seven subs just like in the World Cup final to win. They got to look into their depth, I guess, is what FIFA rigged is saying. Guys, this has been an incredible stream. I'm going to end it right here because there's no producer rut, and it's getting crazy for me now. It's getting crazy for me now. I don't even know how to manage this shit. I don't even know how to end it, if I'm being honest with you guys. But thank you so much for watching. We will be back on Tuesday to react to the first semifinal match. I think it's Spain versus France going up first. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a banger. That's going to be a beautiful game. I cannot wait to see it. We'll be here to react to the Euros matches as well as Copa America tonight. So join us later in a few more hours to discuss Copa America quarterfinal results. Till next time, guys. Peace. Thank you.